Well, good morning. I'm taking down the uh, Bluebird house, which used to be a wren house, but was now a, a tree swallow house this year. And the tree swallows left about a month ago, so I'm going to clean out the box. Just interesting to see uh, what the nest looks like up close. Now, first off, this morning I found two interesting feathers underneath the uh, bird feeding area. This is the uh, tail feather of a juvenile Cooper's hawk. And this is one of the of a blue jay. It's pretty likely a juvenile Cooper's hawk tried to take out a blue jay. I don't know what happened. I didn't hear it, didn't see it, but judging by the fact that the Cooper's hawk lost a tail feather and uh, there was just one feather from the blue jay, usually when a Cooper's hawk gets a bird, they hold it down and suffocate it and then uh, fly away with it. So I'm you know, I don't know what happened, but I have a feeling that the blue jay might have, this blue jay might have got away from this juvenile Cooper's hawk. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Cooper's hawks are a fact of life. They're the most hawk most likely to uh, take your uh, backyard birds, especially uh, doves. A reminder, just in case you're not aware, but it's generally illegal to keep and display bird feathers that you find, even on your own property, as in this case. The Migratory Bird Treaty Act of 1918 that the U.S. entered into with Canada in 1916, Mexico in 1936, Japan in 1972, and Russia in 1976 makes it illegal to keep or collect protected bird feathers which include almost all common backyard birds. So if you find some feathers like this, in particular birds of prey which are high profile, just take a picture or video and leave them to the element. So all of the feathers in this video were just left to blow in the wind and weather away as nature intended. So anyway, back to the uh, box that the uh, swallows made a nest in. This is a little hole. If you were watching any of the coverage, I have a little, just a little, oh, probably not even three eighths of an inch hole that I can put that snake camera down in there. Not a whole lot of room in there for a camera. I might try a regular camera next year. But anyway, on to the nest. I've already removed the screws. And like a lot of uh, birds, it's a real nice foundation of uh, dried grass, but tree swallows in particular are known for using bird feathers to blind their nest. And uh, you can see the bugs are, you know, the ear earwigs, earwig season. But for the most part, The nests are remarkably clean. If you were watching the uh, live, or the, if you were watching the recordings of the parents building the nest and taking care of the kids and removing the fecal sacs, they go to a pretty great lengths to keep their nest clean. And really, that's just the only debris. There's a few earwigs in there. It's, they move in afterwards. It's kind of the nature of sort of what we call earwig season. Okay, anyway, so this is a pretty simple nest. You can see that it's uh, grass, actually grass that was cut in the yard. They were rare, rarely cut the yard, but the yard was cut during the time when they were building the nest. So she just used some grass straw and then put in bird feathers. So on a, on a foundation of dried grass, just build a cup nest of uh, what predominantly looked to be like morning dove feathers. Now sometimes you might you know always wonder how do they find all these feathers and uh, there's a bunch of them there's a couple of different ways one of them they'll just kind of you know there's a lot of morning doves that hang around the backyard up here in the north uh, and sometimes they'll find uh, a, you know they'll find a dead bird and pluck the feathers out but you can see these feathers have been plucked it's not like um, it's not like there's a lot of these feathers just laying around for the birds to get. Sometimes the birds will actually <laughs> grab the feathers out of the... Uh, so it's just a simple foundation of grass with a little cup nest. Uh, not a whole lot of, you know, artistic design. Uh, just a cup nest of uh, feathers. It looks like all from one type of bird, probably a dove. 
and you can see there's very little fecal matter in the in fact there's really none I mean it's remarkably clean where there was five maybe birds in there for almost three weeks so just a remarkable clean fresh looking nest and that is a tree swallow nest each bird kind of has their unique ways of building a nest the tree swallows like bird feathers exclusively to cushion their nest. Also to cushion, also make a little roof, roof over them. And the great crested flycatchers in the backyard down in Florida, they all like to use snake skins.